And from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, a new border highway connector has a proposed new route starting from Santa Teresa and connecting with Sunland Park in New Mexico. Officials say it'll be a quicker route to also get right here to El Paso if you are coming from Santa Teresa. ABC 7's Heriberto Perez has the story from Southern New Mexico. The preferred route for this new border highway connector will start at Pete Domenici Boulevard all the way down here to Sunland Park, New Mexico, and it is set to traverse over five miles through a desert land and crossing active Union Pacific Railroad tracks in Santa Teresa. Since we represent the industrial base, uh, we were a key factor in, in uh, pushing forward this project. The president of the Border Industrial Association, Jerry Pacheco, also told me he thinks the city of Sunland Park will benefit from this project because the proposed new highway has the potential of bringing in extra traffic to the planned Sunland Park Entertainment District set to be built in a couple of years. The citizens of Sunland Park should also see this as an opportunity because the more traffic you can push through your city, the more opportunities for restaurants, for convenience stores, for any type of retail operation. So the New Mexico Department of Transportation had six proposed alternatives for this highway, which according to Pacheco, these two you see right here are the most attractive ones. Alternative three will begin from Pete Domenici Boulevard, two miles north of the Santa Teresa Port of Entry, and it will connect with Anapra Road in Sunland Park. A spokeswoman with the New Mexico Department of Transportation said the final decision could be made next month after the June 13 deadline for public comments on this project. Pacheco also said it will also impact industry because of all the commercial vehicles that cross through Santa Teresa. So we could see more Mexican industry take advantage of coming through Santa Teresa and utilizing that highway to go to East El Paso. Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Ediberto. The construction for this new border highway connector is set to begin by early 2026. According to the New Mexico DOT, it will increase safety, traffic congestion, connectivity, and economic development in our region. If you'd like to learn more details on this new highway, you can look for this story on our website at kvia.com.